Hi guys, it's Sonia on board SV Gemini here. We are actually anchored out for the day in one of our favorite anchorages and I figured it was a perfect time to show you guys one of our favorite little science experiments on the boat. So as sailors we like to be really self-sufficient which means we like to have food and backup food and water stored and all sorts of good stuff so that we can survive for days on end without needing to be stuck at the dock. So this is one fun little science experiment and also a great way of growing your own food at home. So I wanted to show you guys how to make some easy, simple sprouts, just like the ones you find at the grocery store. Um, today we're going to make alfalfa sprouts just because I actually found some alfalfa seeds in my spice drawer and I thought I was all out. But you can also sprout any kind of beans. You can do garbanzo beans, lentils. We like to do mung beans. So today we're gonna do alfalfa seeds. I've got just a normal jar. I've got this fancy sprouting tool, which if you don't have this at home, you're free to just use a simple piece of cheesecloth and a rubber band. So really simple, nothing very fancy. Again, if you don't have one of these little sprouting caps, this pretty much just keeps the seeds from falling out when we need to water them. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this and it is a couple of day process. So first of all, we're going to take one tablespoon alfalfa seeds and just pour them into whatever jar you're going to use. I know it doesn't look like much, but each little seed is going to sprout its own little plant and they're going to get nice and big and you'll see this whole jar will get nice and full. So don't want to do too many because then they're just not going to have space to grow and they won't be as happy. And now all we're going to do is we are going to pour just some cold water into the seeds and we're going to let them soak for a couple of hours. It's important to let them soak so that the water can really get into the seed and that'll actually tell the seed that it's time to start sprouting. So what we're doing right now is we're just waking up those tiny little seeds and saying, wake up, it's time to start growing. So that's pretty exciting. We're gonna let them sit for a couple hours and when we're ready to strain them, we've already got a way of straining them. We're just gonna pour this right out. So we will check back in with you guys in just a couple hours. Since we are anchored out today, I wanted to show you guys our view. This is our backyard for the day. Pretty fun. Nice little cove, really protected. Nice and warm, even if it's a little bit of a chilly breeze. But we're happy to be anchored out and enjoying the beautiful weather from our home. I wanted to give you guys an update after a couple hours. They're all sitting at the bottom and they've soaked nicely. So we are ready to drain our sprouts. So I'm just gonna drain them overboard back into the bay. Shake it so that there's not too much excess water in there. So now they're all kind of stuck to the sides of the jar. That's okay. The next step is to put them in a cabinet somewhere where it's a little bit dark, but still has good ventilation. And you want to have your cheesecloth or your sprouter. Um, this one actually sits upside down so that it drains any excess water. But even just having your cheesecloth and leaving it upright, it'll work just fine. So we are back in the marina. It's a rainy day here. So we have had two full days where our sprouts have been growing in our nice dark cabinet. And now I wanted to show you guys what ours look like so you can see if yours look anything like mine. So here we have our sprouts. If you look in there, you can actually see that all those little seeds have started to make their own little plant, own little root. That is good news. That means that our seeds are doing good and we're gonna have sprouts in just a couple more days. So the next step will be to rinse these guys again. Make sure you have your strainer on top. I took it off just to show you guys my sprouts. 
So then make sure that you drain all the extra water out of your jar after you've rinsed them so that you don't have extra moisture in there that'll make them get moldy and gross. We are back with our sprouts today. You can see I've got them full of water right now. I'm about to drain them over the side of the boat, but I wanted to show you guys what they're looking like. You can actually start to see the little green leaves starting to form at the end of the little sprouts that have come out. So it looks like they're almost ready. I'm thinking maybe this afternoon I'll let them be a little bit more in the sunlight, not in direct sunlight. Giving them a little bit of sun will help make those little sprout leaves get a little bit greener and bigger and start to grow. And then at that point we can eat them. Put them in salads or on our sandwiches or anything. Okay, today is sprout trying day. Here I have made a piece of toast with some avocado and some sprouts. They look pretty awesome. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Delish. And check it out. One tablespoon of sprout seeds made a whole bowl full of these sprouts. Okay, you guys, hope you liked this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed making sprouts today. If you liked this video, make sure to like it and subscribe, and comment below if there's any other kind of activities or experiments you'd like me to try on board. We can do it together, and it would be a lot more fun. All right, you guys, now go eat some sprouts. <laughs>